This short recording will show how eMarking Assistant will help you save time when grading papers and marking assignments using any version of Microsoft Word for Windows. eMarking Assistant provides tools to work with reusable comment banks, automated grading rubrics, record audio comments, and other grading and marking tools. A free 30-day trial of eMarking Assistant is available from eMarkingAssistant.com and you can generally get assistance by using the live online chat button. First, we'll show the eMarking Assistant toolbar by pressing Alt F8. You'll see I'm using Word 2010, but the toolbar looks exactly the same in any version of Word. We can highlight part of the assignment and then insert a reusable comment. Here we've highlighted a part of the assignment where they should have used a reference. So we'll scroll down, find the comment, which is academic writing, need a reference here. Highlight that comment and then click the in margin button. And you'll see the comment is just inserted in the margin. Some of the comments can be quite long. For example, if we scroll down here, we can insert a comment that suggests that the reference should have been uh, indented the second line. Highlight the comment, insert in the margin. You'll see this comment contains some text, some images, and some links suggesting how to get the indented uh, second line in Microsoft Word. We can also quickly create new comments and save them for reuse. For example, here we will make a comment, new comment, click a new comment, insert it in the margin. Once we've made the new comment, we might decide that we want to use it in future. So we can just highlight that new comment and then save it as a new comment. And then as we're marking the next assignment, we could just highlight a piece of text, come down to interesting comment, click in the margin, and there that comment is inserted. So you'll see that's quite an easy way of saving quite a lot of time. We can also use the toolbar to insert text into the body of the assignment by pressing the text button. We'll demonstrate this by inserting a rubric at the end of the assignment. So I've scrolled to the end, scroll down to our rubric, and we'll insert this rubric into the text of the assignment. And you'll see that the rubric has been in, inserted. You'll see this rubric is a normal word table with criteria, and maximum marks for each of those criteria. At the top of the columns, you've got the grading standards and the percentages associated with them. And you can change them very easily because they're just part of a word table. In each of the cells, we've got specific performance standards. So if we wanted to judge this first criteria as a credit or a C grade, we could just click in the cell and then press F6. You can also see those function keys by clicking the rubric tab on the toolbar and it, and it shows you which uh, function keys to press or which buttons to press. So we'll just do another one, click in the cell and select it. We can move it up, D plus, C minus, C, all the way up to A. If we wanted to, we could complete the rubric and enter comments into the assignment at the same time. To do that, we simply go to the View menu and show a new window. Then as we're going through the assignment, we can show the toolbar by pressing Alt F8, inserting our comments in as we want to, and then 
simply going to the other window and inserting the rubric uh, uh, judgments. If we do that, one nice feature is that we can go back to the assignment and highlight the part of the assignment that causes us to make that rubric assessment and press F6 again and what it will do is it will just insert the last uh, criteria from the marking rubric, put the assessed standard and then the grade. And that helps the students to see the connection between the assessment in the rubric and comments in the uh, assignment. The setup tab within the toolbar provides easy access to a number of common uh, features of Word that are useful when marking an assignment. For example, we can show spelling errors. And as soon as we click that, you'll see the spelling errors are highlighted with underlined red. We could also show grammar or possible grammar errors and they're shown in uh, with underlined as well. If we click the track changes, we can just right click on one of those errors and accept the correct spelling or look at the possible grammar error. Our students, we should have an apostrophe there, and those changes are recorded in a different colour. eMarking Assistant also contains other tools to assist you when grading or marking. One is to allow you to highlight a phrase in the assignment in Word and then do a Google web search for that phrase. So I've highlighted a phrase, come down to this menu, click to do a Google web search. It puts up a comment that the phrase that I've searched for will be put onto the clipboard. So I could click the potential hit to display that page, click in the find button or control F, paste what I've got on the clipboard, control V, and it will find it immediately. And you'll see this is actually from a keynote that I presented a couple of years ago. Another useful tool that eMarking Assistant provides is it allows you to easily look up uh, um, meaningless or synonyms or antonymless. So I've highlighted powerful. Insert a synonym list. And here are all potential synonyms for powerful. Often Word will suggest too many, so you can just delete the ones that you don't want to uh, uh, show. We can also look at meaningless as well. We may find that a student has overused a particular phrase throughout the assignment. So one way of doing that is we could click the phrase and then go to highlight in text and it will highlight all occurrences of that particular phrase. Another thing we can do when we finish marking, completing the rubric, I'll just enter these last two, is if we press the F8 key, it will add up all of the marks, convert them to a percentage, convert them to a mark for that assignment, and then convert them to a grade for that particular assignment. An important feature of eMarking Assistant is that it allows you to easily share the comment banks and rubrics with other teachers. This is a really useful thing as a way of building consistency between markers and tutors who may be working in the same course or group of courses. The eMarking Assistant 
site contains a guided tour supported by a YouTube playlist, which allows you to fully explore eMarketing System before installing it on your computer. Once you've completed the guided tour, you can start your 30-day trial, allowing you to use the eMarketing System toolbar to grade or mark any Word document. If you happen to be using Word 2013 or later, you can also use eMarketing System toolbar to insert comments into a PDF document.